I'm afraid of new things. It turns out I'm neophobic. I've been putting this project off because, I don't know, I've, I've never done it before. I don't know if it's I'm afraid. It's more like frustrated. I, I know it's not gonna go 100% smooth. Today, well hopefully, we're testing out our manure spreader for the first time. The PTO shaft has to be lined up with this connection. See these ball bearings in there? They're blocking us. They should be. We need a screwdriver or something driving to loosen them up. That's what I'm talking about. I had no idea this would be the hang up. I just knew we would have hang ups. Not going down far enough. That one moved. Okay, let's try it. Uh -huh. Well, I got that on with some weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now we've got to connect our hydraulics from the manure spreader to here. But there's like six things. I bet one is down, one's up, one's down. So let's just go for the top one. How am I gonna get that out? I don't know, I hope it's right, cause I can't get, I don't know how to get it out. Well, maybe I could have read the instructions. We should try one more thing before we load it with compost. And that's make sure these, this works, the PTO works. Move this sifter to get it out. Now let's go load this up with the compost. We've got all this extra compost from our garden. Why not try out the manure spreader with this before, you know, we do the big manure spreading project. That is the pole box. In case you're wondering, we can't get the tractor in here to scoop this up because the garden's in the way. So that's why we're doing this the earth gem way. The shovel feature. We got it loaded. Definitely took longer than I thought. Trainers here, we're gonna have to come back. Jacob, how do Rebecca and I do, honestly, when you introduce new things to us? Uh, I mean, good, you know, it takes a second. <laughs> that's a, it that's takes a nice a way to say. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of griping and complaining. Yeah, well, there, there is a lot of complaining. <laughs> but I thought you meant like, like uh, just your ability to learn. Your ability to learn is great. You know, it, it, with everybody, if you're yeah. learning something new, it takes a second. That's One true. thing that I found. But our found, attitude was something. <laughs> yeah, it, that, that varies based on the day and fatigue all right, levels all right, and good. stuff like that. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Look, Henry's doing the training. He's got on the mat. Look. It's hilarious. He's stretching. Well, he's going like this. He was going like this. Like, Look, he's leaning back. Is that what you do on that? We're gonna have to have a quick lunch, and then have a barrack chamber. Mm -hmm. You nervous? A little bit. He's gonna go with me today, because I think it will actually help give you more energy. How do they put the oxygen in? There's a little thing that wraps around your head, and you put, put the two clips in your nose, and it just pushes the oxygen in there. Does it hurt? No. Guys like my new ride? No. It's a rental. Had a little accident. Backed up the trailer and forgot the trailer was on. You know where we're going? Uh, yeah, tools. Okay, getting a drill bit for his go-kart project. Got it. But you know, kids, I don't think there is N nervous or awkward or fearful of new things. Did you get what you were looking for? Yep. I think this will work too. Yeah. It can be at any size. I know when I first did the hyperbaric chamber, I was super nervous. You're not nervous? I'm, I'm a little bit. It won't be as scary because you're going to be there. Ah, that's true. I had nobody there. You got you got dear old dad. Now what you looking for? A uh, belt sander. A belt sander. I think maybe you start out in life with the capacity for new things. And as you get older, that kind of, <laughs> well, it diminishes because you've filled it up your capacity. And we have
have lift off, Josiah. How you feel, buddy? You nervous? A little bit. Hey, I'm glad your feet don't stink. Hmm. Do my feet stink? No. That's good. Well, it's been a while. It's letting us down. Josiah, you having fun? No, it's hot in here. <laughs> well, what's that fan? She gave you a fan. It's working, but it's still a little hot. Yeah, with both of us in here, it's quite warm. So how was it, Josiah? Good. Once I was in there, I wasn't nervous. Uh, I think we can learn a lot from kids in this. We are back. Ready to try this composting. We're gonna try it out first in this field, and then we're gonna take it over there where we actually need it, above the road. All right, I had this way up. I think I had it too far up, look. It's too thick, too thick of a spread, but it's working, it's totally working. We'll just lower this when we go up to the field to spread it out a little more thin. There it is, I like that layering. This spot will be forever greener. Just because something's awkward or difficult or even scary doesn't mean it's not worth it. The way I face these things are just that whole, we gotta keep going, we gotta get going. 1% improvement every day. Today it was just doing something with that extra compost. Look, remember? And, and I, I guess it goes to build confidence. I got that one off. You just push and pull out. Ha! So anyway, you just, in the end, just embrace any awkwardness and fear and do the right thing. 